screen. Okay. So I'm going to drag you over now. Hi everybody! How's it going today? We're we're here to start the Fuzzy Logic Marathon. Uh, I'm Demarine. Uh, I'm here. I'm here now. Um, as you can see on the screen right now is Crystallis, a wonderful game by SNK that came out in 1990 uh, on the NES. Uh, and of course I've been telling everybody that I'm going to learn Crystallis the last day and a half. Um, but I am reminded that I owe, I owe sorrow and I owe suffering. So sadly, I'm going to save this one for 2021, probably. I still do want to run Crystallis, uh, but that ain't happening today. I need somebody to switch the title over. That's right. It's time for three hours of Deadly Towers. <laughs> I ran through the very start of the game. Um, it's terrifying. It is terrifyingly difficult. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, no, Crystallis was the original idea, but then I kind of remembered I needed to do this. Um, so yeah, this game is is notoriously like Cuso Grande levels of video game. Um, I bought a copy of it back in January. I do own a copy, but we're going to learn on emulator because emulator is sort of the, uh, the best way to learn things I found because I can save state. <laughs> Um, because I'm going to die a lot, so I have my save states all set up and everything, uh, so I can quickly mash out save states when I start dying horrifically. Uh, on the right side of the screen you'll see some notes, and I also have the ability to pop up, and I will do this as I need to. Um, an actual run, this is, uh, the video of Dragon Dark's run through the game, uh, his world record run, which is under 30 minutes. Um, as I said, I would run a game that has a, that is a speed run of about length 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, we're going to at least try to get through the game with save states. I don't think I'm going to get to doing a run, but... I mean, I might as well start. Again, I've got some notes here, so I can get started. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Like, I got the basic controls. I have a sense of what the items do. Right, so... Grabbing health, avoiding certain death here. This game controls about as well as it looks like it controls. So if it seems like I have very little control of where I'm going, I probably do. <laughs> Ow. So apparently if you're right next to things, it's fine. You can only have one projectile on the screen at a time, so that's great. Okay, that's unsafe. Cool. Um, apparently when I was when I was looking at uh, runs of this, um, it was that you could... Um, you could go from the top room down and right, and it's a little bit faster, but it's also a little bit unsafe. Um... So we're going to try and do safe things here. No, I, I want to be in this room. Yeah, like, there's no guarantee of how far I'm going to get in this. I'm going to just least, at least try to be entertaining as I fail miserably. Um, because, you know, that's kind of the... Uh, Thank you. 
Right, so yeah, this is this is the farming part of the game apparently. Well, it's kind of safe. Oh boy, that was not safe. That was not safe. So yeah, so we're trying to like learn how to safely do the first part of the run here right now. So what we're farming up for are teleport scrolls, which we need to teleport around a little bit. Um, they take us back to a particular screen. Ow! Right, so this is the... It's a little annoying that the run starts with a bunch of farming, because this is not super entertaining, but... It's fine. Apparently the shots move a little bit faster if we're facing right. Die if I do this. So we're at one oh seven. Okay, that room's troublesome. Right, so... How do you get into that room safely? Huh. Lots of trickery there for safety. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Right, so yeah, I know everyone's talking about other games that people are learning. This is a this is a notoriously like I said, this is a game that is considered to be notoriously bad. It's not that it's a bad game per se, it's just that it makes a lot of nineteen eighty six Irem design decisions. Um I mean I speedrun I speedrun a different Irem compile game, but it's a good Irem compile game. It's the Guardian Legend, which is amazing. Um and of course, Compile also did Puyo Puyo, which is also amazing. Like, <laughs> the fact that this game is not considered to be not great is a bit of a, sort of is a bit of a, a misconception in a way. All right, how much money do I have? 128. All right, part of what we're practicing here is farming safely. Like, that's still important. Oh yeah, TGL's fantastic. Like. It's it's weird to think that it's the same team that made Deadly Towers made TGL, right? Like, but the, you could kind of see it in the graphical style that it's fairly similar. Right, where, you know, it's like, it's very big expressive sprites. It's real easy to tell what everything is. Which is, which is fantastic. I would like to get to the meat of the run sometime this morning. Um, <laughs> but like this game, I think it gets a bad rap. It, it plays pretty well. It's a little, it's a little squirrely at points. I wish I could get those, but the door gets in the way.
153, okay. Right, again, every speedrun has the part that is not super exciting. This is the part that is not super exciting. It's fine. Let's... But you can see that when we're at full health, it looks like it looks like health doesn't drop when you're at full health, which is great. Oh, maybe it does. That sucks. Uh, we're... <laughs> Again, going in that top door seems very dangerous. I'm trying to note that the shot sort of comes out of your hand. It looks like you throw the sword, which is fine. And you can see, yeah, one projectile on the screen at a time is really inconvenient. I want that to be down there in case it drops money. It does not. Maybe it'll be better to go out the right door. The main challenge with this is is the obtuse design with a severe lack of direction is kind of the thing. Don't worry, I don't remember this part of Crystallis either. I uh, don't want to go back in the shop. That's annoying. These dungeons loop horizontally. Ah! The things I don't know about this game. This seems like a safer way to farm. I'm here for safety. So apparently we need four scrolls because you teleport four times during the run. Nope, stretch out a little more. A little more. Found out completely by accident. <laughs> found out found out how this works by playing Crystallis. By play <laughs> We need four of these scrolls. Imagine farming an item that lets you teleport. I mean, I've never done that in a speedrun before. I've never speedrun a game where you try to do that. <laughs> Trying to map out a dungeon, ran out of horizontal space on the graph paper, went to the other side. in the shop. It's safer here. <laughs> Thank goodness the graph paper is exactly the right size. So it looks like that if I shoot, as soon as I enter the room, I will stop it from growing any, and I can just kill it in three hits. Okay, that's good. That is good to know. 
Alright, we're, we're mashing. We are mashing real good. 75. Four. Okay, those are worth, like, what, three apiece? Jeez. <laughs> we're almost done with the farming portion, which is good. That got too big. We can get right on top of it, too, and not take a hit. Yeah, 92. I need eight. That should be, what, 104. Okay, cool. Uh, we're done with the farming portion of the run, apparently. We are not done with the getting hit portion of the run, sadly. <laughs> okay, new area. Um, so, what's dangerous in this area? Right, the snake is dangerous. One ladder. Two ladders. Go left past two ladders. And in this door. Okay. And this should be a green towerish area. Perfect. Apparently, you can also farm healing items there, but since we are... Also, these stairs are real sketchy. that have jeez <laughs> I mean this was the height of technology in 1986 <laughs> nope, did not hit that shot gotta <laughs> that we have to be I need to pay attention because yeah one bullet on the screen at a time So apparently this is one of the other really difficult parts of the, the run is right now. Uh, the ghost can kill you pretty much instantly. Uh, if that ghost hugs me, I will be reloading my state too. <laughs> um. Okay. Also, the health ups don't give you ma don't give you current health. They only give you maximum health, which is kind of the worst. <laughs> Yeah, save states are save states are incredibly important for learning runs. Like I own this on cartridge. Like there's a copy of this in my apartment right now. It is not the most cursed video game I own. Um <laughs> That goes to third birthday. Third birthday is the cursed most cursed video game object I own. Um if I crack open my my PSP copy of third birthday, my relationship ends. Don't ask how that works. <laughs> I just I don't question it. Third birthday is really scary bad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. You were there. Oh, jeez. Uh, this boss will one-shot me from 41 health. Fantastic. Um. Fabulous. Um.
So if the ball stays on the right side, it seems pretty good. All the shots absorb bullets. That's good. Um, ah! <laughs> so yeah, having 41 health for this part kind of sucks. <laughs> I would love to have a little bit of buffer. <laughs> Nope. Nope. <laughs> Your local game store had a copy of Third Birthday. Uh, Third Birthday is very cursed. Um, incredibly cursed. All right. <laughs> Part one, get to the safe point. Part two, kill the boss. <laughs> so third birthday is very simple. All that stuff that you enjoyed about uh, enjoyed about about uh, Parasite Eve and Parasite Eve Two, you get none of it. So uh, <laughs> good luck with that. That's hitboxes, though. You never played Parasite Eve. Uh, Parasite Eve games are good. Uh, one and two are great. Oh, that that was bad. Also, it's inconsistent. Sometimes your shots break the shots, and sometimes they just ram into them, which is great. We need you to stay on the other side of the screen, please. Let me see if I can farm up some quick health here, maybe. See if any enemies respawn or something. Third birthday is technically Parasite Eve 3. Huh, no enemies. Seems bad. Please stop spawning fireballs directly on top of me. That seems very fair. <gasps> man. Man, learning new games is hard. God, this makes learning Zelda 1 look easy. <laughs> Thank you. 
look, I have speedrun times for Zelda 1. I finished like two runs of Ringless Zelda 1, thank you. <laughs> I'm holding right so I don't accidentally die to the fireball. Cool. That took, what, 20-some hits? Grab health. Navigate to top. Oh, hey, all the enemies are back. That's bad. <laughs> Go down two ladders. One... Yeah, that's really frustrating, but doable. If I could take a hit, that's probably pretty straightforward, honestly. Oh god! <laughs> oh god, no one likes this. Oh, those enemies are fast and they hit hard. <laughs> Note to self, if I actually am going to finish runs of this, farm some health. There's a, there, One of the items in the shop refills your health. It's an orange, but it's a potion. They come from his hand! It's his hand. Look, his hand. Absolutely not that, Dijon, please. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it PG-13. Alright, so safest place needs to be moved directly to the left to start. And get these in a lock. Don't miss. Missing is really bad. This spot feels safe, which is good. It may not be safe. All right, cool. And pulls them out of hammer space. But we're gonna kill things because it's super safe to kill things, apparently. So you can't shoot down while you're on a down ladder. That's cool. I didn't want to die there. Um, fabulous. So let's try this again. Perfect. Alright, that part seems pretty straightforward. It's just dip into the left corner and don't die. Um, speaking of which, don't miss your shots. <gasps> cool, didn't miss. Alright, cool. Missing is... Yeah, this is hearts as health. That's my fault. <laughs> it doesn't. That doesn't matter. None of this matters. The only thing that matters is not dying to this ghost. And there's the armor. Game category currently says Crystallis. I had to give everyone the mix-up, Bonnie. That's how this works. <gasps> everyone got to get the mix-up. So we gave them the mix-up. It should say Deadly Towers. <laughs> but I am not a mod. It cannot change it. Uh, my notes have run out. So we're going to see me taking some notes here. So we touch the flame and then we go right up the second ladder and then into the door by the second ladder. Okay. A weird flag and crystallis randomizer no big <laughs> uh, of note everyone seems to be more entertaining than i am today i'm out a little bit of blood i had a blood draw today so so if i seem a little out of it well you know why uh this should be oh uh, worm grinds at the start so worm grinds done so we're at this new space uh let's pop up let us do this real quick for all of you uh let's 
All right, so yeah, Dragon Dark also does the ghost to the left thing to kill the ghosts because even at 100 health, uh, this is a man who is very afraid of dying. Um... <laughs> Okay, yeah, so yeah, does the same thing. Like, it can't. Knows that getting hit is very bad here, so. Oop. Does the same thing, holds the wall. Okay, walks by the lasso, sees the ghost, goes, yeah, I can't touch that either. Okay, grabs this. Has an extra scroll. Um, that seems bad. Um. <laughs> Right, so it seems like something is not good here. Um, cool, now we're going right, we're going right. Going right. Goes up top early, okay. This is actually marginally faster. Cool, goes right, goes right, goes right. Goes into the door. We end up where I am right now. Okay, climbing up, grabs health. That is a scary, that is a scary ghost. So let's traverse. Let's pause this real quick. Extra scary ghost. Why do these things have a billion HP? So why why are the Marble Madness puzzles trying to kill me? Um <gasps> Alright, so that's Tower Two. Cool. So we reached into Tower 2 here. Let's quickly run down the actual run a little bit. All right, so it goes up. After Grabs the health, of course. So we're at 160 now. Because of orbs. <laughs> right, hits that with a shot so you can run by it. Uh, that require, That looks like it requires way too much skill. <laughs> Trying to stop and see if he makes any stops on the way or if it's just straight to the top with this run. Oh, that hit didn't seem like it hit very hard. Um... So there's a there's a hidden room. How many ladders up was that first and foremost? I do need to check that. So it's one, it's two. That's three. That's four. There's five. So five ladders. So now we have orb thing, okay. So six, seven. Okay, 
so he's, he's a little bit more aggressive on this boss. Deadly Madness seems definitely cooler than Marble Towers. I don't know. Marble Towers seem safer. <gasps> Okay. Yeah, you can actually get hit now. You have armor. Okay, that that's kind of neat. <laughs> Obviously, you want to take as much health into here as you can. Uh, okay, you can't get hit very much. It does 40 damage, but okay. <laughs> but you can get hit. That's nice. Well, we're not taking notes right now, so we'll keep that up. So there's one. Also, the music gets infinitely better the deeper we get into the game. I just want to throw that out here. This is kind of this is kind of a bop. Oh, jeez! Why am I stun locked? <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> Why am I turbo stunlock video game? I mean, I could take four hits there. I mean, if we're talking about a game where uh, where the tower is the monster itself, we could be talking about Tower of Draga. I mean, there's a lot of tower games. Like like Deadly Towers, or Tower of Draga, or, you know, or Die Hard the Arcade Game. <gasps> you weren't expecting that one, were you? Oh, boy. Oh, there's bad times. We're in the bad times now. <gasps> um, <laughs> please help. All right, that didn't go so hot. Um, let's try that again. Look, everyone should expect the Die Hard reference by now. It's almost Christmas, damn it. I mean, Die Hard the arcade game had the great, uh, had the great design decision that, uh, that quick time event should cause you to completely game over no matter how many lives you have because they wanted you ow to put money in the machine. I mean nothing in this game wants hugs at this point. Come here. Nope. Nope. This is safe. What is killing me in this room that I can't see? Like, something is killing me in that room and I don't know what it is. Like, I don't love when a game, when I can't tell what's killing me in a room. That, I cannot tell what is killing me in that room. I'm just dying. 
thank you for hitting <laughs> thank you for hitting this enemy here so I could get my shot back in time to not die. Death upon failure. No, it was not just death. It was a complete game over. Like, it didn't matter how many lives you had. You game overed. <laughs> but yeah, like... I'm not sure what's killing me in that room, but I need what's in that room, apparently. I don't know why I haven't seen this far into the run yet, but, like, if, if we're stopping for it, and we're stopping for it, it must be important, right? Ah! Do I have to kill these first so I don't die? Is it, like, some sort of weird interaction there? Alright, if I just start shooting... Okay, what's happening is I'm getting caught when I come in there. I'm gonna state here. Um... Also, the ghosts tend to fade in and out on this, both the NES and the emulator, so it's great. I really wanted health, thank you. Second boss. So, manner of boss kill is about the same. It's hang out down here, fire diagonally a bunch. All right, I one-shot that. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. We'll practice that later. Um, So it's grab bell pop scroll, so we're just gonna... Do not throw away magic mace, please. Um... So we jump in the fire there. Cool. So now we need to find the next dungeon, the next tower, next thing, next thing that matters. God, this run is horrendously unsafe. Um, but yeah, so we're going right and in into the. Or after first ladder. Oh, there's a hidden room there. Um, cool, that's actually just... So, hidden room is at lower right corner. 
It'll, I gotta watch that again. So, goes in. Alright, kills boss. Grabs item. Pop scroll. Steps and fire. Alright. Okay, so... So it looks like what's happening here is that... We're going in here. I mean, unless you like dead. I don't- I don't like dead. I'm not a fan of dead. So, uses Mace to help with leaving. Now we're going right again. And going right again. So, it's right to the lower door. There's a purple, there's a purple tower exterior section here. Uh, which we are going to traverse. Alright, climbing up, climbing up. Nothing special here, it looks like. This looks pretty straightforward. Alright, we have like 87,000 armor now, so I think we're like not going to die, right? Right? Okay, let me make sure I can get there. And it's a lower door, so it should be here. All right, we might have to go grab the, uh, Oh, do the mace room again real quick. Wow, we got really unlucky there. Um, yeah, the bats might still kill you. Like, they can still get through. Wow, that's... That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, they can still kill me. Awesome. The mace does not provide invulnerability, apparently. Enjoy work, RBW. Thank you for popping in. Alright, 68 health seems fine. Great. We'll take that. Alright, so it's this door here. Bats are kind of the worst. Um, 
Look at them all moving diagonally and punching me. How do I get a, how do I avoid these? Like, I gotta shoot them first, I think is the big thing. They don't do a lot of damage, but they constantly hit me, which is very bad. Right, if I if I hit them first, we we're fine. Okay. That's important. Right, we want to hit them first, otherwise we will get into a lot of trouble. Uh, these dragons have shields. I don't like that. Uh, it means they're very well fortified. Uh, if I just... Can I sneak by you? Yeah, I can sneak by you. Can I sneak by you? I'm going to sneak by you, too. Uh, woo! Hi! Uh, the hitboxes are super weird. That does 30 damage still, even with all this armor. And it looks like if you dodge into the line of sight of the dragon, they get all aggressive with fireballs. That's good. More ghosts. More bats. Cool. Let's see if there's any secret passages here. Right, so we're going up. We're not going up. <laughs> as we can see... Uh, Dragon Dark is about as afraid as I am in this room, which is to say, extremely. That's one, that's two. Two and go left. Alright, so it's here, and then here, and then we're going up. <sighs> Alright, looks like things are much less deadly, but those are regular ghosts. The fast ghosts seem very bad. Um, but the same strategy seems to apply, is that they can't hit you in the corner, so you just dip into a corner and wait for them to get in front of you. Okay. Like... Like, a lot of the thing is, is picking up strategies, right? We're, just, we're trying to pick up strategies to traverse areas and not take damage, because, like, damage is everything at this point, it feels like. Like, we don't get a lot of it. What is that? That is an item on the floor. Please be a sword. Please be something that does more damage. Um, I think that's a helmet. It looks like a hat. It looks like a hat. <laughs> This looks awful. This looks absolutely terrifying. All right, I'm actually kind of afraid of this. Um, it looks like it doesn't take many hits, but I'm still de desperately afraid of that. Actually, I need to check something. If did he uses a scroll here, how many he's got? So grab bell three. He's got two scrolls. I only have one. I might have to walk down from there. That's fine. So I'm going to walk down after this boss. Nope. Bad. Sneak by.
All right. So far, so good, right? This is going fine. This music bops. We're feeling good. We gotta be very... We have to be very aggressive up those up that ladder or we die. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I gotta be very, very aggressive on that ladder, because I need to get to, like, here. So that I don't get deaded. Give me the health. <laughs> so we gotta be, like, super aggressive. Right, like, there we go. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was not worth. <laughs> that was not worth it. That was bad. Okay. <gasps> okay, that's very bad. Alright, that's bad. Um, cool, this room's super dangerous. God, this again. This makes this made learning Zelda Zelda One uh, Ringless White Sword look real easy. I I just I need you to get out of my way. We're gonna go get the bucket again. We're gonna get it this time. Alright, kill a bunch of sad ghosts. Alright. Now we gotta be super aggressive at this part. Nope! We're gonna be afraid. We're gonna be fearful. We're gonna run down the ladder instead. For bonus safety. This was the smartest thing I've done! <laughs> Look how smart I am not trying to rush the ladder. <laughs> and then Ghost is going to hug me anyway. <laughs> Deadly Ladders would be a much more accurate name for this game, yes. Come on. No, not like that. <laughs> I mean, I am not... I am... I'm not lack. I'm not that good at video game. Um... <laughs> Ow! Can't really afford to take that 18-point hit. The worst part is that when you're at the very bottom of the screen, it feels like there's a 50-50 chance that you'll get stuck. So you can't move left or right. So you have to be, like, super careful. Like, like that's a little annoying, but I think it's an important thing to kind of note. I mean, I'm good at video game, it's just this game is hard. I should have killed the bat there. I did not. It's going to die the next hit I give it, but I should have died there. I should have realized I had it locked up. There, see? Look, it would die. Oh, good. Fast Ghost ran directly into getting shot. That's good. I'm all about that life.
The slow ghost took the hits for the fast hits for the fast ghost there, but that's fine. Nope, I'm not fighting you up there. Come here. Come to me. Debate me in the marketplace of safety. No, come on. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We're good so far. There's a single ghost here. We'll just give you the business end of the business. Alright, we're good. We're feeling good. We're feeling good all of a sudden. Right, I can't sword you on the ladder. That's my fault. Heck. Heck, I panicked. Should have committed to the bit, but I didn't. Now I'm dead. Look at my sword on the ground. Ow. Can't really afford to take that hit either. Man, this part's really hard. That, why do you do that? Why must you be completely unpredictably bad for me? I need you out of the way. Alright, we're not doing that part again. That part's... Alright, so again, ducking right to the corner here. Fast Ghost will either scroll itself off the bottom, which is fine, or will die, which is fine. Look, Deadly Towers is a good game. It's uh, it's growing on me. <laughs> like, I'm a little worried that it's growing on me, but it's growing on me. Alright, so we're going to do this part, like, bit by bit so we can actually get through it. Alright, we've seen this part, like, six times. We kind of know what we're doing at this part. Wait, did two of the enemies scroll themselves off the bottom? Thanks, guys. You're the best. Um, We gotta kill Uwu Ghost here. Uh, Alright, Sad Ghost is dead. Alright, here's Helmet. Alright, I don't mind loading the state here. We're going to do this part again. It's very game. Uh, it would be brutal. I don't think the game really does a great job of telling you what you have to do. Like, the game does a very bad job of telling you what you need to do. Plus, there's, like, a ton of dungeon areas in this game, and you don't need to do a single one of them. Which I find absolutely wild. friend ghost decided to scroll off the bottom of the screen. I think I think we're okay with that. Um Holy crap, we have real armor now. That's wild. Look how much damage I'm not taking. <laughs> uh nope, that didn't work. Alright, cool, we made it to the top. The centipede. Oh, if it touches you, you die instantly. Fabulous. <laughs> okay, good to know. Don't get touched. That's how you get dead. Like, you get hit by all the fireballs you want. Uh, don't, don't hug the centipede. Also, you'll note, again, since it's a boss, you don't hit-stun it. Okay. Cool. 
Nope. Ah! I, th I thought I died there. I did die there, because I touched it. <gasps> yeah, no, touch touching you is bad, apparently. It does uh, more than 70 damage. Okay, yeah, that was a bad location. That was bad spotting on my part, because it jumps up. Okay. It moves the same way every time, right? That's kind of the nice thing. So, like, the ability to get in damage is pretty consistent. Oop. Right, like, the fight is super deterministic, it looks like. Yeah, the fight's, like, super, super deterministic. It's just that it's learning the pattern and landing a lot of damage in a hurry. Okay, that was bad. You can land a lot of damage at the start if you just tap right and spam. Like, I think that... Nope. Nope. Or you could touch the boss and take 65 damage. 66 damage. Not, not bad. Okay, so the boss does 66 damage on touch. Okay. Again, boss very consistent, but you gotta be smart and safe. Right. I mean, we also went out of all of that, all of out of the way a ton, it looks like, to get a bunch of armor to start the run, right? Like, apparently we have all the good armor. And hugging bosses is still super lethal. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm stuck. I couldn't move left. I couldn't move left. <gasps> Going to die. <laughs> yeah, this is hard. This is a really hard boss. This boss fight looked super scary, and I was right. here for my blood. That was just, that was just not good movement on my part. So I tapped right to start shooting and got hit. Okay. Okay. Down, going up, going down, going way up. Coming down, going up, coming back down, going up, coming way down. Okay. Oh, ah, bad! <gasps> Stop changing height! Stop, stop doing that! <laughs> stop changing height and please just die, thanks. <laughs> Alright, that was bad, we're not taking that. Uh... Oh, I got hit by a fireball that time, that's not so bad. facing down when we enter the room? That stinks. Um,
I mean, like, it's not, like, a lot of... The, the parts that are hard are really hard. Like, the parts that aren't hard are just fine. Right, I think that's a thing worth noting, is that... It's not that it's a super hard game all the way around, right? It's not intense all the time. It's just the parts that are... The parts that don't have a lot of safety are very, very hard. Right, and a big thing is, is that what you can do at the start of the run is you can farm healing items. Uh, the, the fluctuations are the same every time. You just have to learn them. It's just like, you gotta know that that's coming, because when it wants to move down, it moves down across the room. When it's moving up, it moves up across the room. And when it just goes across, it just goes across. It's just you have to identify which one it's doing at any given time. But it's fairly deterministic. Yeah, and we have we have all the items that make our defense better, but we don't have any weapons yet. So we don't get a weapon for this boss. I'm in a bad spot here. So we can like if you can cuz if you can like there are certain spots that you can play this very aggressively. boss theme being forced. <laughs> Look, we're gonna hear this loop a lot, damn it. Oh, that was cheap. <laughs> I got hit once and died. <laughs> Didn't get hit by the boss either. I got hit by a fireball. Yeah, the knockback, the knockback is about as long as the invincibility is, so you don't actually regain control while you're invulnerable. So uh, good luck with that, I guess. Ah, butts. <laughs> Ow. That was wrong. So let's go up, not down. So we're basically, we're trying to move up and stay up. All right, because we know we can just go there and it's safe. Uh, that's also safe, I guess, except I get fireballed backwards. We're just going to go above that there, because oh, we're going to below that. Not close enough to killing it there to just stand there and spam it out. So yeah, we're just trying to stay aggressive, it looks like, might be the plan, right? Like, like it feels like it's a little safer to be a little bit more aggressive rather than super passive like I've been.
Gonna come down deep. Gonna come down again. Bouncing back up. Wait, you can get knocked out of the arena? That's garbage. <laughs> No, no, we're not- that's not allowed, game! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Fight's going well. Gonna make you reset it. <laughs> Good luck. The power of anger has consumed me. <laughs> Alright, cool. We're not going to pop a scroll here, even though... Yep, we're just going to enjoy... I'm gonna make, sorry, making the screen slash a little bit. All right, that took what one try, right? Like that was that was definitely first try, not seventeenth. Oh, the enemy mix has changed. First try in the only surviving timeline, yes. Alright, so that's done. Why are bats alive? Why are bats allowed? Ow, ow. All right. Uh, we don't talk to bats. <laughs> RPG jerk bat. I tried to talk to that one and it killed me. that I need it because we're going to get refilled in a minute anyway, but... Alright, so three bells burnt. So then we go... Let me go pop a pop another scroll and burn another bell. Go over upper bridge to next. Go over left upper bridge to next room. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going up. So this is where the run seems to get a little bit safer because we're now have 160 health and actual armor. Alright, we got boots. I don't know what those do, but we get them. I hope they let me fight better. Looks like they make you move faster. I guess that's okay. Alright, so then we get those boots. We go up one ladder, two ladders, three ladders. Uh, this doesn't look so bad. Four ladders, five ladders, there's a heart. I guess we're grabbing the health, okay. All right. Are we supposed to go into that secret area or is it not required? Looks like it's not necessary. Okay. All right, so it looks like it's not necessary. And then we go left. We just go in to the next boss. All right, so this kill looks very similar to the first boss. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a very familiar boss style. So we're going in here. We're screaming at this bat to, to, to just to just die. Like we're losing 23 health for that bat because bats are the best. I think the hardest thing is just there's no damage upgrades yet, like... Like, yeah, my diagonal movement feels a lot smoother now. Okay. Just 
I mean, we can face tank through a lot of this now. Oh, there's a thing here. There's a cup. I don't know what that does yet, but that's fine. We're gonna grab it and leave. Maybe it fills up my health or something. I don't know. Please stop. <laughs> Alright. Ow. Alright, let's save state here. So now, yeah, this boss fight, like, these bosses seem to fight the same as the first one, just, I have armor now. When you get hit, you get knocked so that you're not facing diagonally, I have to keep that in mind. Problem. Easy boss. <laughs> that was the first boss it feels like it went real smooth like. But again, now that we have defensive power. Alright, now it's fine. Now it's fine and good. So, goes down, goes directly to the right. area, then it's... So it's down, right... Right. Down, right, right, up. Right. Down. Right. Right, right. Down, 
upright. I lost something there along the way. So it goes in the shop, buys three scrolls, then it's then it's left down left use teleporter to start. Okay. So let's try and get through that part. That part, this part seems like a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Right, this part actually seems like an absolute bunch here. Right, so it's here. So it's right. So we leave the shop, then we go. Let me go right, right down. Ow, right. Right. Up. Right. Down. Ow, okay. Right, 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 nope, don't want to be in here, this looks scary. box is that? And then right. This is a shop. I did not want to use the orange scroll there. Uh, that's fine. Um, we'll load F5. So it looks like, yeah, this is where we get the rest of our... We use the cup to get the rest of our scrolls. Okay. It's a different shop. Okay, so that's why. Like, everything is starting to come together a little bit.
please stop. Please stop. Why, game? Two. Three. The red drink. All right, then we're going to go. Not back into the shop. We're going to go. Left. Down. Ow. Left. Okay, and so then now the run goes... Ultra scary ghost. So this is a non-stop traverse to top. This part looks pretty straightforward, right? Just... Get some lucky health drops because you're good at the game. Kill some enemies because they hate you. Uh, look at that bat and go, God, I hate you a lot. I can't believe my notes say fearlessly kill that boss by just standing in front of it. That doesn't seem like a great idea, but... Like, that is com... But that looks like it's, like, completely fearless. Okay. So this is this will be boss number five coming up. So we're getting there. If I don't get bodied by literally everything trying to get past it. Like, if you don't... <laughs> if you don't move decisively, you'll get dead. And that's awful and bad.
Ah! Bat. No, let me go up the ladder. Oh, those make my shots move faster. That's kind of nice. So you need to move up a little bit there. Ah, that's why the tech that's why the tactic is to be incredibly aggressive because it works. Got it. So, be incredibly aggressive on that boss and it will be fine. I mean, look, look, it took, only took me two tries to kill that boss because reasons. You can see it's a little annoying is that even with the fast shot, if your shot goes off screen, there's still a noticeable lag until you get your shot back, uh, especially if you're shooting vertically, which is kind of bad. But aiming's a lot easier when you can shoot faster, which is nice. Like, you gotta rush people down. If you're not rushing people down, then it's bad. This is where sword is. I know that there's a thing here. This is three. Cool. So yay, yay, we get power of sword here. Um, you, I'm not sure if you can flip the like the bear boss and this boss maybe to try and get sword first because sword. Um, because boy, do we like the damage. Um, right. I mean, I guess you kind of want fast shots for this fight, but, eh. Sword. This looks like a very familiar boss pattern. Not gonna lie. You forget if bosses are locked to their specific tower if it's in fixed order. Ah, that might make sense. Then you'd want to fight this in this room because this room otherwise sucks, so...
All right, we're going to run this out to the end because there's only three more minutes of run here. I think it's just kill the next two bosses and you're done, so... Three, four, five. Six. Seven. All right, so there's nothing here. I guess it's another boss where it looks like you've got to be somewhat aggressive and stay in front. I'm not sure if that was a boss touch or what, but okay. So it was, so we go down, we go into the dungeon again, we go right a room, now for sale in the shop is an item called Green Scroll. We use Green Scroll, which takes us back to the outside. And I think this is the end of the run. Because, like, I'm looking at DD's timer, and it's at uh, 26.55 right now, and the run ends at 27.27. So... Wait, we had another item. I assume we get that item from burning off all the bells. <laughs> It'd be really funny if I make it to the final balls and don't have it. Um, all right, cool. That's what the ending looks like. That doesn't look so bad. I got that bell, we we're gonna scroll out. Okay, so get gloves, stay fearlessly in front, pop a scroll, burn a bell. Alright. So it looks like the hard parts of the game, thankfully, are early.
Right, so we're going up, we're going up. One, two, nope. Nice that shot. It's way in the corner, okay. Bats, I need you to not do this to me. Getting all that extra health back is nice. Ten health now is a lot, because... Ow, that's the only thing that seems to be able to injure me. God, bosses go down so much easier when you're powerful. Uh, that's nice. I need you to, like, chill for a second. Why do bats have no chill? Bats have, like, negative chill. Bat, it's... It's 2 o'clock on a Friday. I need you to have a little bit of chill today. <laughs> Why do bats suddenly... <laughs> I needed. I realize I spent the money on a potion that I'm gonna need for the green scroll, so I'm gonna need to farm up a little bit of money. That's fine. All right. Why are you moving so fast? I mean, other than we're at the end of the game. Thank you. 
That back I got. <laughs> Oh god, this boss actually hits hard. So the projectiles from this boss are honestly lethal. <gasps> That's awesome. So you get this far, it's like everything's super easy, and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, my projectiles are like super lethal. Well, once you kind of know that the projectiles are killing you instantly, it's kind of makes your life a lot easier. It's like, oh, you're just going to kill me. That's awful. So we need 90. We have... 56. Okay, that sucks. Let's see if we can make some quick money. Seven. So, the money route on this is just basically, here's enough money to do what you need to do, and that's it. Alright. Super aggressive bats. Oh wow, Aggressive Ghost is very bad as well. 
All right, everything here actually hits kind of hard. Alright. Nope, don't want to get hit. Ouch. Yeah, that doesn't work. We'll probably save state before that room. Assuming that I don't get massacred by bats. She says getting massacred by bats. <gasps> Let's not get massacred by bats. Who's getting massacred by bats today? Just let me in the door. I appreciate that it starts with a warm-up phase. Uh, nope. That one read, read my mind like a book. This enemy doesn't fire projectiles, how hard could it be? Don't answer that.
Okay, this is the last phase, apparently. Uh, it's real hard, apparently, also. Ah, oh, it's bad. That was greedy. <sighs> wow. Uh, you gotta be very quick on that last part. Imagine trying to finish this without knowing where all the armor is. Okay, I can't really get hit anymore here. So much execution. Don't want to get hit here, but I did. Nope. Yeah, that's really hard. That last bit, you have not a lot of room to work with. <laughs> like, that is severe. Like, you think about, like, difficulties. The fact that you have to, like, swing and shoot because you have no space to work with is real hard because you have to be focused on just hitting the shot button once, basically. Was it taking damage by shooting the ring of dragon heads? That's a good question. Because if it is, that might be a lot easier to deal with. The answer is we're not going to find out because as soon as I start moving, if he moves with me, I die. Fantastic. What a good final boss. Is there a safe spot in the lower right corner? <gasps> Whew. 
Wait, was that a safe spot? Because that would be rad. Well, that was with a lot of save stating taking about two hours. Um, that is hard. Cool. We still got 45 minutes. You know what that means. Is that a safe spot? That'd be rad if that was a safe spot. Kind of a safe spot? Fair. Alright, well... Let's see how deep I can get into this Deathless. Okay, let's just see. Alright, let's just... <laughs> the if in that sentence is doing a boatload of work, yes. Right, so, yeah, uh, 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 no, bad fireballs, no cookie. Um, cool, we got the first two health without any problems, that's good. We're making money now. <sighs> Why can't I get all that money? I just, I want that cash. Right, so we're going back and forth, back and forth. We're farming, we're farming, we're farming. Yeah, that's not clean. Seven. Okay. 
This is hard. Even farming is hard in this game. I'm on 10 health. If I get touched, I will die. And 20 health. If I get touched, I will die. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Can't even farm successfully. Do I get to start with my money at least? That'd be nice. I don't. <laughs> like, it's wild that you have to get good at farming. <laughs> And you gotta, and you jam that for like. Like the room is, like the game, the speed run, like at world record pace is half an hour long. Like, like a good 20% of it is farming. Nope. Don't know how I avoided that. Don't ask. Don't ask. I, I don't know either. <sighs> but yeah, at least we have 57 this time going in. Oop, got fireballed. Am I going to find a way to die before I even start? Heck yeah, I am. <laughs> Dameron learns to farm the game. The first great challenge is getting a pile of money. The second great challenge is surviving long enough to spend that pile of money. Because you, because clearly you cannot take it with you when you die. But yeah, this is the learning process, right? Like, we're going in here, we're doing some reps, we're we're learning how to do the first six minutes of the run, because you see this a lot. <gasps> right, you go right, you go left, you start shooting the enemy so that you don't let it get big enough that it stops taking damage, because these enemies are super weird. 
How did I take damage there? I'm not even going to question it. We're moving on with our lives. That enemy was dead and hit me anyway. <gasps> I got I got attacked by an enemy that was already dead. The Deadly Towers experience. Bop, bada, bop, bop. Well, we're halfway there. 235. I I prefer I think I like this method of farming. This is this is working. This is working well. Like this is this is working really well, honestly. in, we're going out, we're grabbing that cash. Uh, seems to cap at 250. <laughs> Game. Game, I need you to, like, let me not go in the shop. Like, you get into a good rhythm. But yeah, I guess you spend it, like, 200 just for the sake of dumping your cash inventory. You guess get into that flow though, right? Like we're in the we're in the rhythm now, and so it's getting easier. Uh, don't touch me, please. <laughs> All right, we're we're in a bit of we've got a little bit of rhythm going. All right, we're almost through the we're almost through the worst part. Two oh five. Let's grab. We'll kill it one more time. We'll grab two more scrolls. Borp. Eighty-eight. 
100 exactly. So, we have finished the farming stage of the game. We did it. We farmed. Without dying. So we'll make a save state here. We will leave a save state here. But yeah, we did it. We got through something. So we will leave save state one in such a way that farming is done, right? Like, I can always now go back and I have a permanent save state for after you farmed. So we start making segmented save states, basically. Oop, nope. Bad bug. Bad spider. But yeah, if I make it through, like, a couple of bosses without dying, A, I'll be shocked. Uh, B, I'll be very happy. Ghost, why, why do you not die? Like, I, I hit you a bunch and you refuse to die. Ghost wanted a pal. That's all. all right. Well, we'll go to the end of farming. That spider turned around on me. <sighs> what a jerk. Yeah, the, the early part of this game is kind of rough.
Alright, well that health does me no good. I will die if I get touched. Which I did. Okay. <laughs> I will just die. I, it's time to just start dying. Maybe I should make the save state after I pop the orange scroll. I mean, it wasn't Great Wing that killed me. It was the it was the spider turning around and giving me a uh, giving me a pat on the back for like 60 damage out of nowhere because I didn't because I decided to not kill it and because I thought I could just walk by it while it was stunned and it would keep moving down when it became unstunned. But boy, was I wrong! Like if I could bring 90 health to the boss, I'm probably okay. The hard part is bringing 90 health to the boss. Right, like, like if I can bring if I can bring most of my health to the boss, I'll be fine. But like, like this spider's got to die. I can't leave it alive. It means business. More like enemy misbehavior, am I right? So being careful is not fast, but it, it did get me 120 health going into the tower. Ah! No. Bad. Got fireballed. Our friend the ghost dropped 10 health though, so we're good. We're at 98. That's pretty good. Nope, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna make at least one of your lives miserable really fast here. I thought that might hit me, which is bad. Alright. Alright, we're gonna deal with Ghost here instead of- Ah! Heck! Oh, we're fine! We're only panicking a little! on panic baskets. We are we are in <laughs> full panic mode. All right, well we're taking 118 health into the boss room. That's pretty decent, right? Yeah, boss only does 48. That's okay. We could take like a hit now and still be fine. Ah! We don't want to. We would prefer not to because we need the health for afterwards as well because we have to go grab the first piece of armor. So, getting hits really bad. Uh, that was cutting it thin. Yeah, see, like... <laughs> like, even being able to take hits, you can't. Like, you gotta be super careful. But we're gonna try and get through this segment without dying. Right? What do I do? I immediately get hit by a spider, by a snake for, uh, a meager, a meager 24 damage. That, that sure was a fireball to the right while you were moving up and down, but thanks, game. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, today I learned something. I don't know what it was, but I sure learned it. Man, that was, that was brutal. Like, yeah, this early game is a lot. <laughs> this is like a Zelda-like, right? Like, the early game is really hard, and the end game, you're super powerful. And it's still hard. <gasps> um, yeah. And the game basically cranks to the difficulty to, oh, you didn't get all the items? Well, now you're just dead. <laughs> Bum. 
I thought I was being slick there. I was wrong. Uh... Perfect. Perfect. Got it. I'm actually on the ladder there. It won't let me shoot up. Nope. I slid off the ladder there at the end. Not gonna, not gonna chance it. All right, ghosty pal. Like, this is the part of the... Thankfully, we get to keep doing this, because this is clearly the part of the game that you need to get good at, right? Like, like there's that neat mid-game lull once you get your sword, that, like, near the end, where it's actually pretty good. But this part... How could you orb? Well, orb is not my friend. Orb is here to wreck me, like every other enemy in this game. Right, if you think that orb is your friend, you have done... You were either playing Super Mario World, and I'm, you know, you know, that's just... That is a decision people make, and it's a good decision. And I feel like you're probably better at video games than I am at that point. Um, or you uh, are getting Wrecking Balled, like this was Yakuza 7, and I'm very sorry for you because you're just going to die. <gasps> Man, I could have- I could be playing Crystallis right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is amazing though, like... Like, 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 this is a game that, like, casually is is a difficult game, because, again, not everything is very well documented. The game does not explain to you where you're going or anything. It expects you to wander around. I'm not switching to Crystallis. It's not happening. That That's a 2021 thing at this point. Crystallis falls under the... It's a game that I want to learn, but might be hard to because of... Because of bashing requirements, but, yeah. Could switch to Crystallis. Known good game Crystallis. But yeah, like, I want to learn Crystallis. Crystallis is a fun game. We're going to be deliberate. I'm going to get rid of at least two of these. Vertical shooting is slow, but super safe here. You know, you just came over here, too. I'm gonna remove you as well. I mean, your, your, your screen name, you are named after the game. You probably enjoy it. Ah! Oh, we're fine. I thought I died there. Um, I think those do 128. Full health. Full health. Why do I keep getting turned right there? That's a nuisance. I don't I don't want to shoot to the right. That's not where the boss is. getting stuck in the floor again. Alright. Now it's time for the hard part. Now we go down two ladders.
That health is helpful. Alright. Nope, we're going directly to the safe spot. <laughs> we're not getting tempted by that health. Come down. You're dead, you're dead. Oh man, time is running out. Ah! No! Bad! I gotta duck into the corner for the one ghost. Alright. Cool, what is it, 250? Uh, I'll make save states later. So the next thing to do is to do the game with save states, but make the save states longer. Right? Like that segment, that first segment. After I get the armor and pop the scroll, that's my that's my first segment. Um, and then we'll start building segments like that one at a time. Um, and learn each section as we go. And then if we have a problem with the section like that first section, we'll do it over and over again. We'll repeat it. Right? So it's like... Full load. Like, And I'll have notes for that, right? Where, you know, we'll note my save state. Right, and you know, it's just like, we'll just... Right, we'll just build out the state list here, right? And then once we have the state list, we'll know that we can always pop in for states to do state saves, which is handy. And just kind of keep going from there, right? We'll keep building out uh, what we need to build out so that we can keep uh, going through until we know each segment, right? And then we know all of the segments, and then we can do full runs. Uh... But yeah, not a chance I'd play this blind. It's a, it's a rough game blind, but... Uh Oof. I am extremely exhausted now. Like, like, extremely tired, so... But yeah, that's kind of the learning process of a game, right? Play through it, use save states, figure out where things go, right? And just sort of push through it a little bit at a time. I'm going to I'm going to pause the emulation so I don't need to listen to the music anymore because three hours of that is a lot. Um, <laughs> I have a bit of a headache. I'm not gonna lie. Incremental progress is how you learn most speedruns, right? Like, right? You just you work your way through each part of it. You 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 don't swear at it at all for three hours, which is shocking. Uh, you maintain you maintain decorum for the channel that you're required to maintain decorum on. Um, and you sort of work your way through again. You work your way through it bit by bit, right, piece by piece. Uh, but you always have to have that mentality, right, of I need to repeat this. I need to do this again. I need to do this again. I I need to do this without dying. I need to figure out like. Like, I need to remember there's one last ghost there, because if I don't remember that there's one last ghost there, I'm going to die, right? If I... I need to know that I need to shoot these three things as I go down the ladder, but I have to be facing diagonally, because I can't shoot any other way. Right? I can't shoot straight down on a ladder. Um, right, I have to try and not get stuck on things. I have to make sure I know which items I'm getting and where to use them and what they do. Um, right? There are no notes for Deadly Towers. Notes don't exist for this game. Um... So basically, part of this was how do I build notes for a run that doesn't have any, 
right? How do I use a video? How do I extract notes? And how do I pull it all together so that I can do something? I now have I now have a file saved on my computer called Deadly Towers Notes. Um, on a scale of one to third birthday, that's a solid six on the cursed scale, I think. Um, it's not bad. Again, game is not bad. It's just it's a difficult blind experience because it doesn't give you it. Right. You think about gaming and kind of the idea of game design is that games back in the day didn't do a good job of holding your hand. And this is absolutely no exception. And that's hard. That's very difficult. Right. Zelda gives you Zelda at least gave you hints. I don't know if there are hints in Deadly Towers. Like, I don't know if I wander around the labyrinth area if I'll start finding hints that tell me what to do. Uh, it probably doesn't. Yes, it's it's obtuse and it's it's like intentionally obtuse at points. Like, like there are a lot of games like that where it's just like, like it's obtuse until you figure it out, or it's just obtuse. Period. I mean, like the original Zelda and Zelda Two are kind of that way. You know, they don't really tell you a lot of what you do. They sort of set you loose in the game until you go. Um, right. A lot of games are like that. Like. The fact that Guardian Legend, you know, in 1987 had maps that gave you flashing indicators of where you're supposed to go next, at least zone-wise, was kind of nice. It didn't give you much more than that, but, like, like directionally, it, it felt like it gave you enough direction to sort of figure out what was going on. Um, you know, it didn't give you a ton, a ton of direction, but it gave you enough. Um, like, for example, I was able to beat Guardian Legend when I first played the game when I was like nine years old without any sort of guidance uh it took a while it took me having to write, write down some really difficult passwords and get those working but uh ultimately it ended up working out pretty well um which was kind of nice um right it gave you just enough to get through the game um not every game is great for that so <sighs> I'm tired I'm <laughs> tired I'm tired, and I'm tired, and hopefully somebody will bail me out of this because I'm I'm gonna continue talking until I'm told to not talk anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna wax nostalgic, dang it! Let's go. Um, yeah, like I think I, th I think I could stop. I could stop whenever I want. Uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you, Edge Case Collective, for having me. I love I'm done. Um, uh, I love you. You're wonderful. I don't think you can hear me. Uh, I just said nice things to Mako behind me to live because she's a sweetheart and I should say nice things to her, uh, basically all the time. Can't believe you all put up with me running this for two hours and 56 minutes. What a concept. Cool. Thank you again. I'm going to go, I'm going to go play a, a different video game. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>